Bermudians are doing their part to preserve the natural beauty of our country. And at the forefront of this movement is a company that just might surprise you. It's Belco, Bermuda Electric Light Company. Today, power generation is cleaner and kinder to the environment than in generations past. And Belco is committed to the strictest environmental standards. To maintain our operating license with the government, we uh, monitor our water and our air quality um, in a number of different ways, as well as we manage our spills, oil spills here at Belco and have a reporting and tracking procedure for that. However, we do go beyond that and we are voluntarily adopting the ISO 14001 international standard and it's a standard that's uh, uh, developed around improving your environmental management system. Uh, through that standard we have an environmental policy at Belco which lists a number of commitments that we have to protecting the environment and enhancing our environment as well as preventing pollution and continually improving our environmental management system. Belco recycles bottles and cans, toner cartridges, batteries and other common items and actively works to reduce paper in the office and by offering paperless e-billing to customers. Belco also recycles oil from old transformers and separates and properly disposes of all industrial materials. Here at Belco, we are very environmentally proactive. Uh, we are not doing it because we are forced to do things for the most part. We do it because we feel as though it's the right thing to do. Um, we take the environment very seriously and it is one of our major uh, corporate initiative. In the mid-90s we uh, started a program uh, to remediate uh, waste soil in the subsurface. This program um, employs over a hundred wells that we monitor and extract from uh, on a 24-hour basis. Um, it is quite an intensive program to try to retrieve uh, oil from the subsurface. In our operating conditions, we are required to clean up the canal. And as you can see, the canal has greatly improved over the years uh, compared to what it was in the early 90s. Belco has also been collecting and treating waste oil from the central power plant in our oily water treatment plant. The oily water treatment plant here was built to receive waste oil and oily water waste from the, uh, the generation plant behind us. Essentially, it separates any oil from the water and uh, water from the oil, whereas the oil gets pumped into your retainers and shipped overseas for recycling. And the uh, water, remaining oily water, gets treated by uh, several water treatment components before being discharged to, uh, to boreholes. And Belco's efforts don't end there. They have air quality monitoring stations that continually track emissions to ensure that Belco is in compliance with Bermuda's Clean Air Act. We monitor gases such as nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide, and we also monitor particulates. Um, at some of our other monitoring stations, we also monitor weather data. Even noise pollution and vibration are addressed in Belco's environmental strategy. The primary environmental impacts that we consider when we're building new plant or when we're modifying existing plant is the noise emissions, the gaseous emissions, the vibrations both from noise and ground-borne vibrations, as well as the processes that manage and dispose of byproducts and waste products from our plant. Inside Belco's East Power Station, where the biggest generators run, earplugs are mandatory. But thanks to careful planning, outside, the noise level is about the same as most background noise, such as traffic. And the East Power Station has a special foundation that reduces vibration. We essentially are trying to squeeze as much kilowatt hours, as much power as we can out of each barrel of oil that we use to minimize the waste. And in doing so, uh, we make sure that while we can continue to deliver power to the customers, we do so with a minimum consumption of fuel and thereby a minimum uh, level of emissions uh, from burning the fuel and diesel engines. So we are continuously improving the amount of energy we extract from the oil and convert it to electricity. The Belco team and their government counterparts are trained and ready to respond to potential ecological emergencies. 
with a plan that is practiced and regularly updated. One of the major focuses of my job is our major environmental emergency contingency plan. And that is basically a contingency plan that we put in place in the event that there is a major environmental accident such as an oil spill or a chemical spill or a fire. With the help of our overseas consultants, we perform this exercise um, once a year. Delco's corporate citizenship includes charitable contributions, and green is important there too. When we celebrated Belco's 100th anniversary, our employees planted 100 Bermuda cedar and olive wood trees at Spittle Pond and Cooper's Island. And we were pleased to work in partnership with Green Rock to give away compact fluorescent light bulbs and to monitor Earth Hour. To deliver the cleanest energy possible today and tomorrow, we have to plan for it. That's why Belco has set its sights on producing 20% of Bermuda's energy through renewable power by 2020. We are looking at large-scale renewable power from the sun, the wind, and the ocean, and we encourage energy efficiency to moderate growth in the demand for electricity. Belco is proud to be part of the solution, and you can be too. We invite you to recycle, reuse, renew, and to be energy conscious at home and at work. We welcome your green ideas. And now that you know the good news about Belco, we hope you'll feel good about how green Belco is behind the scenes.